I'm thinking about turning these adventures into songs after we're done. Hopefully, this song will be sung for years to come by the people of Mondstadt, just like the legend of Vanessa. I have loved that song since I was small. How are you feeling today, honorary knight? I am completely prepared and fully confident that we can do this. Even Master D. Luke accompanied us to the very end, despite only being an accidentally involved bystander. You shared your secret with me, and I only returned your trust to the same extent. As for Master Jean, responsibility, perhaps. What about the tone-deaf bard? It's freedom. Freedom? When you first arrived at Mondstadt, did no one tell you that Mondstadt is the city of freedom? <laughs> she really is a child of freedom. Mondstadt is a romantic city without the reign of a king, and its citizens enjoy the most freedom amongst the seven nations. I hope the dragon that once protected Mondstadt will soon be free too. No one should have deceived him by telling him that Mondstadt betrayed him. And no one should have told him that it was his eternal duty to protect the city. He has the right and freedom to choose his own way of life. Venti? Well then, Traveler. May the thousands of years of wind that have blown through Mondstadt go with you. Just like the last time, I shall channel animal energy for you. Oh, no wonder you said his voice sounds familiar. <laughs> be as tall as my big sister. Look, there are two shiny spots on Devalin's back. They appear to be poisonous blood clots that have coagulated on his wounds. The Abyss Order must have cursed the wounds. That's what's corrupting Devalin's mind. To save Devalin, we're going to have to get rid of those blood clots. Aim for those blood clots. from the shots being fired. Shattering them will create acceleration currents. I can't control where they will appear, so keep your eyes peeled.
equal grounds. <laughs> the grandest bard is here to help. But first, let me be clear. Even after hundreds of years without use, Devalin's teeth and claws are still very dangerous. Since we flew like this together, huh, Devalin? Just now. Why? 
Why did you not ask me to protect you like the last time? Me not wanting you to listen to the Abyss Order doesn't mean that you have to listen to me. Freedom, if demanded of you by an Archon, is really no freedom at all. Is this the power of the Animal Archon? But I am no longer part of the Four Winds. Even if that's so, you still protected us regardless. Now spread your wings of freedom and go with my blessing. And so, the Storm Terror threat was quelled. I clarified the misunderstanding to the citizens of Mondstadt and let them know that they are safe. To them, it seems Storm Terror attacked Mondstadt out of nowhere and then vanished just as quickly. They must be finding the whole ordeal very confusing. However, winds change their course. Someday, they will blow towards a brighter future. You guys are back! <laughs> the honorary knight returns triumphant! Yep, we're back from tussling with Dvalin! You just returned yesterday, right? Jean got back first, and she told us all about your heroic deeds. <sighs> I wonder if I'll ever get an opportunity like that. That doesn't come into it. You guys deserve all the credit for how you resolved this crisis. When I brought you into the city that day, I was just doing my duty as an outrider. You're welcome! But have you been waiting for us here this whole time? Of course not. Just because I'm not out on the front line doesn't mean I don't have work to do. In fact, I'm dealing with the aftermath of the crisis as we speak. Aftermath? Here? What happened in Mondstadt? While Master Jean was away, the monsters lurking nearby made a coordinated attack on the city. Fortunately, we weren't completely taken by surprise. I detected the hilly churls were moving closer to the city a while back. Oh, yeah! Paimon remembers. When we first met, you were clearing out one of their camps. Exactly. And if we hadn't started making preparations back then, Mondstadt would be in much greater danger by now. Me too. But I have a strange feeling that we're not out of the woods yet. Hilly Churls aren't usually capable of coordinating like this. Our best guess is that the Abyss Order is behind it. They've taken over the Hilly Churls! Good thing we saved Dvalin, or they might have taken him too. That's right. And since I'm the Outrider, it's up to me to keep eyes on the Abyss Order from now on. Ugh, I'm sorry. You should be celebrating your victory, not listening to all this somber talk. Hmm, I promised to take you out for some sticky honey roast, didn't I? Before everyone got caught up in the Storm Terror Crisis. There's no time like the present, right? You guys hungry? You bet! You may have forgotten till just now, but it's been on Paimon's mind this whole time! Awesome! Let's go! It's been way too long since I last ate a sticky honey roast myself. Wait for me a Good Hunter. I'll be right there. I just have to clean up here real quick.
add asterisk.